We always enjoy getting details on stories they're working on for Inside Edition. Host Deborah Norville keeps us informed. She joins us today. Always great to chat with you, Deborah. And today you're putting the family dog to the test. Do you have a dog, Leland? I, I, I don't. Okay, if you did, do you think it would protect you in times of trouble? I, I would hope so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what all these dog owners hope, too. And so we decided to put it to the test. We got the family pooch, these gorgeous Labradors that you see running around here. And we had a guy dress up in a dog-proof suit and pretend to assault the homeowner. So we had the camera set up. We wanted to see what the dogs would do. And look, these guys come to the rescue. Now, the tails are kind of wagging, but look what this guy does. He literally puts himself between his owner um, and the assailant. And that's a great thing. The reality is most of our pets are marvelous pets and horrible protective dogs. So there is a way you can get them trained. It will cost you a little bit of money. But if it's like my dog, we send our dog to the guy to teach it how to hunt. Mm -hmm. And after about three weeks, he said, I can't take any more of your money. This dog is untrainable. <laughs> so there's a good chance your dog is untrainable too. All right. So that's coming up today. Tomorrow, you're talking to the youngest victim of the Golden State Killer. Yeah, I think um, everybody was sort of agape when this man was arrested earlier this week. Here you see the mugshot of the person police say is the Golden State Killer responsible for at least 50 sexual assaults, a dozen um, murders. And we're going to be speaking with the youngest victim. She was 13 years old when she was assaulted by the person believed to be the Golden State Killer. She was obsessed with the case. She'd read everything about it. She'd even thought, what would I do if this guy tried to break into our house and assault me? And when that happened, she knew exactly what to do. Because she thought about it, she fought him off. He didn't finish her off. She could have ended up dead, but he ran. And she says she was able to deny him the one thing that she believes he wanted more than anything, which was dominion over her. So that's a fascinating interview. We've got that coming up. And then next week, have you seen that Flex Glue commercial? I have, The yes. one where they glue stuff together and amazingly it doesn't fall apart. Well, we've been fascinated by those kinds of commercials and we decided to replicate it and see if we could achieve the same results. So we had an engineer work with us. We glued together the cement blocks. We had Mr. Strongman come and try to fall and break them apart. And then we built a dune buggy with this stuff. It's one thing to build it. It's another thing to get in the car and drive it. And Lisa Guerrero did just that. And incredibly, she didn't die. Now, the real race car driver did the same thing. He is alive. Uh, we can't say his the same thing for the dune buggy. It did kind of fall apart. <laughs> so some great stories that uh, we'll be intrigued by. As always, great chatting with you. Looking forward to that test there on the glue. All right, Leland, thanks a lot. <laughs> Don't miss Inside Edition weekday afternoons at 4.30, just after News Channel 5 at 4.